My name is Nina Grawley and I'm a science illustrator from Atlanta, Georgia originally. And I'm here at Shenandoah for the three weeks to be artist in residence. I have a background pretty solidly in studio art, um, but I really debated in school whether I wanted to be an artist or whether I wanted to be a scientist. And so then when I graduated, I found out that I could be a science illustrator, which was pretty much the best of both worlds. And so I applied to a program and got in and spent a year training specifically to be a science illustrator. I'm from the Southeast originally, and so I've always loved the Southeastern forests. And I think they get a bit of a bad rap sometimes in comparison to somewhere like the west coast but there's so much like beautiful and awesome and at that scale here too. The Shenandoah ecosystem is very similar to the ecosystem that I grew up in but also very different and so it's really cool to be able to look and see some of those similarities and some of those differences. One of my strongest held beliefs is that paying attention is like a way to love and whether that's to love people or to love the environment and so through my artwork I want to encourage people to look closely at nature because I mean so many people have what, what's called plant blindness where they're not even seeing they're just seeing like a wall of green not the specificity and the beauty of everything that's around us um, and so I want my art to encourage people to to pay attention to look closely and to be curious about everything there is to see. I had a friend say the other day like the art is out there and I just I agree with that so much that there's so much that's so beautiful in nature and it's just such a privilege to be able to use my art to explore that and to look closely and be able to point through my art, point other people to look closely and to explore the nature that's here, yes, in somewhere like Shenandoah, but also that's right outside your door. A lot of the time when I say, I'm a science illustrator, people don't really know what I'm talking about. So, and to be able, especially for kids, to tell them that like, science and art don't have to be opposites. I feel like that's a great privilege. I would have loved to hear that at that age. And so the public programs were an opportunity for me to share some of that and also share just like the joy that you can find just walking around, even if you're not a sketcher, just with a sketchbook and really looking because art makes you, makes you look in a way that hiking doesn't. So that's, that's really what I was going for. Not the most beautiful drawing, not the like a masterpiece, but just paying attention. The art that I've worked on in the park at Shenandoah has mostly been a lot of field sketching. I like to have exploratory sketches in place that I've done in the environment looking directly um, before I start a larger piece, which is what I'm hoping to do after I get home. I like to have like a lot of exploratory sketches, especially for something like anatomy. Anatomy is really important to me as a science illustrator to get those details correct. So I like to have a lot of sketches um, and then I'll bring those together into a larger composition, often with some sort of text to explain what's going on. An interpretive panel is, is really what I'm going for probably for this piece. So lots of text, lots of interactions going on. Part of the, the wonderful thing about this artist in residence is I'm not working for a client and so I don't have like directions given to me. And so I'm enjoying like the freedom of being able to explore and see what I'm looking at. But I'm thinking I want to make a piece about some of the plants and animals that are endemic or specific to Shenandoah. So I'm looking probably at the Shenandoah salamander and the high elevation greenstone barrens that it lives in. I'd love to explore that and I've done a lot of sketches surrounding that. This is such a wonderful, wonderful time to have just to almost a time like a restful time like obviously I'm here and I'm working but it's a different kind of work than like working for doing an, a specific illustration for a client like to have the time to really explore nature and find out what I want to share with the world out of that has been a really really wonderful time and I think will clarify like my process and how I approach my work for a, for a long time after this. Um, I'd just like to say thank you to the Shenandoah National Park Trust for funding the artist residency and putting this together. This has been such a wonderful opportunity and I really am so grateful that I got to be here and inter interact with y'all. It's been a privilege.